Hi, it's Jack. Welcome back to my channel. We're talking about the Phantom 4 today because we're going to do a 360 video and I decided I wanted to be up in the air and I was going to design something for the Inspire to go on the, on the underneath it so we can uh, film it. I've seen the, the gadgets you can put the uh, camera itself with a special gadget that screws onto it that actually places the Inspire camera. So unfortunately you won't be able to see through the camera but it actually bolts in the same place as the Inspire gimbal does. And that way it's under its belly, but when you look up, you see the whole of the quad underneath. So we need to do a way of dangling it below the Phantom or the Inspire, so that you could actually use um, like a logo that looks like the cloud, and then you can cover that up. So when you do look up, it looks like you're actually looking up in the sky, so you can't see the drone at all. So I'm going to play about with those little bits on the actual stitching software itself. Now with the Samsung camera, which you've seen in one of my previous videos, and I'll put a link up there. Or, sorry, up there. Uh, for you on, on that video on the 360 but um, it's getting quite popular, there's a lot of paramatic shots that you can do with the, the Phantom 4 at 360 but we can do a video at 360 so I want it dangling below so that I could actually have the opportunity to wipe out the Phantom 4 so it looks like the sky itself because uh, anything attached to the camera up to a sort of long distance that all somehow gets stitched out, doesn't get shown so I've done videos of me in 360 holding on a, a selfie stick and it looks like I'm actually holding with an empty hand just like that. You don't see any of the stick or down in your hands. It looks like you've got an empty hand. So it's quite clever that I do that. So I'd be, so I want to try and cover it up as much as possible to see if, see if I can achieve that. So I thought, how do I mount it on the Phantom 4 or the Inspire? I have some sort of ideas and some ways of doing it. So this is the idea I had for the Phantom 4. It dangles down, as you can see there, under the skids. And it can be, can be sort of central. It sort of can balance out centrally and it's at the bottom there. So any vibrations from here should get um, sh should slowly reduce as it goes through the um, cable ties here um, to the actual camera itself and you can see the camera balance is nicely below it. So as long as I'm not flying too fast or jerking left or right this will actually stay nicely and again with the 360 stuff I don't want to do like fast flying with it. Want nice slow going up so when you put it in the goggles you don't feel too sick because this can make you motion sickness if there's too much movement in the camera so just nice takeoff shots going up, maybe over a building and things like that, over a forest or, or over, the, over the water, It'd be fantastic. So once I've got it up to hovering position, I can then, because this will actually start off on the ground, so the camera's just slightly back away from the Phantom 4. And as the Phantom 4 starts rising up slowly and gets up to height, and since it's off the ground, it'll sit back like here, then I can just go up to it and give that a quick push in the middle then it's more central to the actual Phantom 4 itself. And if this works out quite well, then obviously I can use this sort of cheap design to way, may build on it to make it more permanent itself. But when I come down to landing, I'm gonna hand catch it because obviously I don't want that scraping or hitting the ground because obviously it will have some sort of venture or snap or break. But um, again, it's an expensive camera, so I'll bring it down, catch, land it. So this is only designed sort of as a camera come up to go up like that on takeoff then after takeoff is finished I could put, put I could put this on a box um, so the camera's dangling down the side of the box so it'll come off so we need, need to touch ground but it's things I can play with anyway so this is a 360 Phantom 4 setup so I'm gonna um, weather's looking really good today actually so I'm gonna um, I've got a bit of spare time yeah so I'm gonna go out and fly with this and get some shots so um, let's go and do that now. Well, we're actually out in the field here so it's um, a little bit windy but it's enough to, it's enough for this test anyway um, so it's all ready to go battery's charged and she's all calibrated so ready to roll on this one so I'm not sure gonna have, I'm going to literally take off first and then I'm going to record it hovering to sort of show you how well it holds up and then we'll do a flight test and then we'll do another video which will then be the bird's eye view from the actual um, 360 camera itself from the Samsung there so let's get up in the air and see if it actually can hold this weight there you have it, holding it. Let's wait for the camera to balance itself out. Anyway, I've been flying around for about 10 minutes so far and um, we're down to 61%. So it hasn't taken too much of the battery on it. So I've had a quite good up and down, uh, gone quite around this field as well. So I'm going to have you know, probably about a good five minutes flight time, maybe a bit longer. I haven't got an SD card in my Phantom 4 to say exactly how long, but you can see it's holding really well, really nice and steady. So, this is a base sort of line to start with. So, I think we'll start looking at 
getting something a bit more permanent on it. And I'll try the Inspire one out as well. And it's great to see what this footage is going to turn out to be. So watch my next video, which will be up straight after this one, which will be the 360 of actually of that camera, what it, what it did. Should have flipped the video upside down on the 360, just quickly played it back. So eight minutes and it's gone through um, two bars. Well, I'd say a bar and a half because it's got two and a half bars flashing still and it's all like 60%. So yeah, it did take a bit more battery drain, but to get that sort of 360 shot, um, especially if you're just ro rotating around a building or getting some sort of view, you know, that's a fantastic amount of time for that, it's great. Just got to stabilize it a bit more because when it's in flight, it seems to stay stable, but obviously when you're um, stopping, then the thing starts swinging. So we can improve on this design because it's only a ray tester to see if it actually would hold to get it up in the air. So we're now look at somehow having a pole to keep it more stiffer in the air and also um, not get that jello effect as well, sort of keeping that down. So I'm going to sort of design something for it. We keep retesting in it so you can follow this video through every test I do to show the improvements until we've got something really nice nice on there uh, that runs really nicely. Because I like to do more aerial shots in 360 as well as doing my normal stuff I do. So uh, yeah, great improvement. Did really well. Just with that. So um, yeah, um, let's get on to the building it now um, so that'll be on my next video do a little bit of where we'll just improve slowly test it improve it test it so fantastic so remember guys subscribe and go on my Facebook like my Facebook and uh, remember to share me on social media and any Facebook groups you join a part of the, the drone side stick me in it remember to use my hashtag Jack Strains so, thanks for watching guys.